bubble, bubble, pedophile trouble. Once again, YouTube has chosen to delete the movies, videos, accounts of good people to keep pedophiles like in YouTube Yahweh baby raping hater clan all active on YT. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry, scummy. No, I'm not gonna cry. Guess what, assholes? No, well, I opened up another account. Oh, I know. I should be upset by losing my accounts, except that I'm getting them back. Because you idiots, along with your little pedo buddy Paul, all filed false DMCA claims. Criminal acts, morons. Aside from that, I don't know, Scummy, when did you become Bruce Gaston Kelly? It was kind of neat to see that in my email. Mm. Bruce Gaston Kelly has filed a DMCA copyright claim against me. Bruce Gaston Kelly is my father, the man who molested me most of my childhood. So, of course, that's where pedophile Paul and the YouTube Yahweh hater horse would have to go, right? Oh, well, doesn't matter. I don't care. And by using a name like that, you guys made it extremely easy for me to prove that you're nothing but a bunch of lying con artist criminals. So, my account will come back, just like Irish's did. Because every time you freaks decide to do this, you show yourselves for the lying scum you are. YouTube eventually has no choice but to do the right thing. They don't want to go down with you. Oh, sure, they want to keep you here. They love having you diddling kids online. Why, I don't know. Really don't care what their choices and personal reasons are. Um, I'm having a bath. I'm washing the Yahweh scum and the pedophile Paul right out of my hair and everywhere else. Upset? Hmm, let's see. I had an account that had hundreds of thousands of views, hundreds of subscribers, and you guys have never come close to that. Say I am a little bothered that YouTube would get rid of a real account while keeping you little baby diddlers around. But is it going to destroy my life? No. You know, maybe a year ago, maybe last Christmas when my final hopes and my delusions about people being nice in this world were crushed and clarified, we'll say. YouTube isn't the only place that would rather have child molesters and pedophiles. Um, fortunately, I've discovered that the Encyclopedia Dramatica has a MySpace account, and they're not even allowed to link to their little baby raping site. MySpace has enough sense to know that that's just wrong. What the hell's wrong with you, YouTube? I am seriously challenging you, the YouTube user, to have the courage to stand up and report these assholes. Anytime they false flag your videos, anytime you see their comments laying about anywhere, mark them as spam, report them. You know, it's really simple stuff. Inundate YouTube with the truth until they have no choice but to accept the fact that they are co-conspirators molesting children. They are co-conspirators creating havoc online, abusing, bullying, and harassing people. As MySpace, what it's like to try and purposefully force someone to commit suicide, YouTube. They found it wasn't too great for their publicity. That's why they won't allow sites like Encyclopedia Dramatica to even be involved with them. So think twice before you put out a video because my image, my voice, somehow these all now belong to a pedophile named Paul and his Yahweh baby raping cult buddies. I find that a little hard to accept. So. wash that shit out of my hair and out of the rest of my life. This is to you, YouTube pedophile, child raping, piece of scum supporter. I really hope that some of you have the courage to stand up for this. Oh, I did. It cost me a couple accounts. Whoopie doo. I will not be the one to feel guilty when these assholes are raping kids. I did what I could.
Bye.